The five forces model developed by Michael Porto is very much focused on the environment under which firms operate. It's looking at the competitive conditions facing a particular industry and is very much centered on those conditions that produce profitability within an industry. Those that either produce and make an industry more profitable or that constrain profitability within an industry. But as this model is focused on the environment under which firms operate, how do we account in that model for something like the COVID-19 pandemic? The model itself is focused very much on the immediate environment that the firm operates under. The suppliers to that industry, the buyers of the in industry, the threat of new competitors coming into that industry, and the threat of substitute products or services for that industry, and the competitive dynamics, the fierceness of competition within the industry. So if that is the five forces model, where do we see something like COVID-19 pandemic coming into play in this model? Well, we have to think about the environment that the firm is operating in, in several different layers. Firstly, you have that immediate environment around the firm, the, the competitors that it's competing with, and the suppliers that, are, that they're purchasing from, and the, and the customers of the industry that are buying from that industry, as well as the threat of those potential new entrants into the industry or other substitutes for, for that industry. In other words, that five forces model is the, contains really the immediate environment around the firm. However, beyond that, there's this larger macro environment under which the firm operates. And we think of that uh, using the acronym PESTEL, P-E-S-T-E-L, which stands for political environment, the economic environment, the socio-cultural environment, the technological environment, the ecological environment, and the legal environment. And so we can categorize this outside environment, the macro environment that the firm operates under through, through, that, through that acronym. And when you come to something like the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, which is also obviously a part of that bigger environment, it operates or affects the firm through those different PESTEL components. Right? So we can think about the COVID-19 pandemic and how it's been handled politically and the, and the political turmoil that, that it's produced. You can think about the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the socio-cultural impact that, that it's had in terms of the changing of behavior of consumers, uh, even the technological impact that it's had as we've, we've seen rises of, of technology and the use of technology being used for, in different ways, the, even the ecological impact as traffic has, has lessened in, in cities and you've seen impacts on air quality. Uh, but if, if we sort of bring it back to how that larger environment impacts the firm, right, and how therefore COVID-19 impacts the, the firm through the five forces model, it's really the impact of those larger macro forces on the five forces within, within Porter's model. So we think about how COVID-19 has perhaps impacted suppliers in, in different industries, as many uh, industries have been shut down by the panic or severely disrupted by the pandemic. A lot of that has been through the supply chain, and they are unable to get different components or resources they need through their supply chain. But that impacts, as those supplies have been restricted, that impacts supplier power, generally increases supplier power, 
and allows suppliers to, to raise prices into the industry, reducing the profitability of the industry uh, potentially because they really need that particular component. Uh, similarly, you can think about the other side, the, the buyers, and how buyers are, are now perhaps focused on other things than the goods and services of a particular industry and are looking, looking elsewhere, either not spending money or uh, spending money on other, other things, uh, and that impacts buyer power. That, gen that would increase the buyer power uh, within the industry. You think of substitute products, particularly is, is one of the big ones that we see in the pandemic. And because if you think of firms, many firms within the pandemic have, have suffered badly. You think of uh, the travel industry, leisure, restaurants, entertainment, all of those industries have, have suffered really badly through the pandemic. But other industries, companies have done extraordinarily well. You think of a company like Zoom, uh, which has gone from a, a relatively small company doing video conferencing, has now become a household word as, as everybody is using it. But if you think about how Zoom and the success of Zoom sort of plays in to Porter's Five Forces model, it's very much in terms of Zoom's ability to act as a substitute for various things. Right? So even in an educational uh, setting, in a classroom experience has been replaced now by a Zoom experience. So that, that physical classroom is replaced by a, a, the Zoom platform. Business travel uh, and uh, a lot of business meetings are now conducted over Zoom. And so that's acted as a substitute for even in the airline industry, for example. And it's knock-on effect on hotels and, and things like that. Uh, so you see very much how the something like the COVID-19 pandemic plays into Porter's Five Forces model through the Pestel environment, the macro environment. And so as you have these macro forces, they impact firms through these five forces 